Welcome back to the Tom and Frenchie podcast. Another day, another dollar, another oh. minute, another oh, cent. Yeah. Oh. It's a whole Is that thing. how it works? Yeah. Never knew that. Um, exciting news in the world of country music. Oh, yes. Uh, everyone's like stopping on their horses. They're like, what is it? They got wireless headphones on. A mm. lot of our listeners are mm. big cowboys. Mm. Your favorite artist, country artist, Beyonce. Finally. <laughs> Finally. I've been waiting for her to do a country album. There's certain people I'm like, can you do a country album already? Not Post Malone. Mm. Oh, just because his voice will sound good for it. No. Yeah. I wanted Beyonce. Yeah. Pitbull. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, that would be good. Yeah. Fuck Maroon 5. Why Maroon not? 5 would do a dope country album. <laughs> I reckon every artist, I've always said this, mm. should at some stage in their career do a country album. Because it makes people appreciate your other stuff more. <laughs> <laughs> It does. <laughs> Everyone needs an experimental album. Everyone's like, oh, I did not give the other albums as much respect yes. as I needed to. And same with country artists. We've been saying for a long time that once in a while, country artists should just drop a rap album. 100%. I'm still waiting for Keith Urban's uh, country album. He's definitely... I know he's been practicing Sorry, it. Sorry, country album, rap Con- album. Rap album. I know yeah. Keith Urban practices it <laughs> in like... In the car by himself, mm. by which I mean he yells the N-word at people. Yeah, a lot of the country stars, <laughs> it's already in their voc- vocabulary quite a bit, so it'll be a smooth transition. Keith Urban is the most interesting human. Oh, it's like it's like he just evolved from some sort of plastic mould. Mm. Apparently he was born in New Zealand, but they don't even really want to claim him. Yeah. He also grew up in Australia, and we don't really want to claim him because mm. I think everyone in America makes fun of his style of country. Yeah, and if anyone was going to do a rap album, it's someone with the last name Urban. Oh, I don't. I think he's got Keith. it in him. Yo, Keith on the mic, let's yeah. go. <laughs> Firstly, shout out Nikki K. That's my girl. That's my show. Hey, his yeah. song's for you. He could put um, his long hair in pony, like cornrows as well. Now drop that skinny butt, drop. <laughs> He's like does of all these like yeah, rap yeah. things are for yeah. Nicole. You got them long fingers, long fingered <laughs> girls, <laughs> knees with the knobs. <laughs> the whole club was looking at her. <laughs> Nicole Kidman claps like a seal too. If I'm gay, then why I got a hair straightener, hair straightener, <laughs> hair straightener. <laughs> straight, straight, straight. I'm as straight as my hair straightener. <laughs> I'm into that. I like that. So we both listened. I don't know if the listeners, I don't know if we've, you know how sometimes when they do like the end of year wrapped and people will say how much they've listened to our podcast and will say people who listen to this podcast Mm. also like this genre. Mm. Haven't noticed Beyonce high up there? Not a great overlap. I I did to, uh, um, we toured last year and every every now and then I'll be like, what song do you want me to play? No one ever yelled out play Beyonce. Mm. Maybe they didn't want me to butcher their favorite. Yes. Uh, but we do like her. We respect her as an artist, all the single ladies. Shout out all the single ladies. Mm. I, I I used to love it in the club when that would come on because you'd know which one's the target. Yes. They would scream. <laughs> yeah. Some people wouldn't scream as much. You're like, oh. And then yeah. some would scream too much. You're like, oh. You're and they'd all, all put their, their hands out and do yeah. the dance and you could scope for rings scope and for stuff. Rings. Yeah. Scope for rings. And yeah, then they also, good. if they're doing the dance, you're seeing how low they can drop it. You're seeing mm. flexibility. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um. <laughs> yeah. So there's that. But we just want to make sure in case the beehive are listening, um, <laughs> bzz, bzz. everything we say could be parody. Would that save us? No, that's, bzz, that's bzz. more of a law thing, isn't it? This is all <laughs> alleged opinions. No, it's opinions. No? Okay. It's opinions. You can have opinions on music, mate. You can have opinions. Not around the beehive, it's brother. It's subjective. Not it is around the beehive. Oh, I'm not getcha. scared of the beehive. Is so it the beehive? It to or save the, you legally. Is it the beehive or the beehive? It's B. Because it's pronounced B E Y, yeah? Probably like Beyonce, though. It's not Beyonce. But I'm saying I always thought it was pronounced Beyonce. Bayhive. You've been calling I'm not even Bayonce? taking the piece. I swear to God, every time I read it, I read it as Bayhive. <laughs> You're a strange man. No, because B is B. You know Bay is B A E. Huh? That's how they spell Bay. B A E. Yeah, yeah, but I'm saying because when you read Beyonce, B E is the where the B comes from, mm-hmm. and then the Yonce comes from the Y. Yonce. 
Oh, you think it's like two different, like her first, her, she's Mrs. Yonsei. <laughs> she was, and now she yeah, took, okay. now she's Mrs. Z. <laughs> <laughs> BZ. BZ. Okay, this is getting confusing. <laughs> what so did the, you think? The, uh, the country album. So the thing with the country album, I think, firstly, oh my goodness, I know you've got strong opinions, I've got strong opinions. Firstly, too overhyped because the first single was good. It's catchy, fun little TikTok dance. Which one was dance. the single? Tell me. Um... This ain't Texas. Oh, Texas, hold them. But I hold them. Yeah, okay, yep, yep. Lay your that cards was... down, down, down. Yep. It's a fun little TikTok song, people dancing. It says like... Texas in it. That's almost country. Yeah. I, I respect that. And it's holding got... them. Yep, yep. You got to hold them. When I was listening through the album, I was like, this is a country album. Has Beyonce ever heard a country song? Ah, all her that producers. Kept coming up. <laughs> I was like, when's the country coming? Yeah, it was kind of like, just because you say horse mm. once in a while mm. doesn't mean it's a country song. Mm. Some of those songs I kept like, because I was driving listening to it, mm. and I'd flip back and mm. be like, has it ch like shuffled to a different album? Because mm. there is nothing country about this track. It's essentially when you're in the car. And you uh, turn up the radio or even skip the track and you're like, I'm a DJ now. Mm. Just I don't think that's what qualifies you as as a country. I was saying the problem is because the first song was good, it got this this hype like Jack Harlow when he dropped first class. He had these cool bars like I put you in A, E, B, B, and everyone's like, this is going to be a dope song. Yep. Next minute, full song drops and just sweet semen, sweet semen, <laughs> a guzzle on that sweet semen, Keith Urban. <laughs> And I was like, fuck Jack. Yeah. So the first song sounds good. And like, okay, the album's out. Yep. My fiance, very excited, mm -hmm. made us listen to it while we're playing cards with her mum. Texas like, Hold'em? Um, yeah. To the Texas song? Yeah. So I put that on. I'm like, that's enough. And she's like, no. Put on the whole album. I go, bitch, it's 47 songs. It was a lot of songs. Yeah, I think it's 29. That's yeah. not even a joke. I'm going to look it up. Can I'll, I look it up? I'll look it up for you. I'm pretty sure it's in the 20s. It's in the 20s. Yeah, it looked like a lot. I remember looking at the list being like, this no, is quite... No album needs to be in the 20s of amount of songs. Pick your favorite artist. Pick an album. Doesn't need to be 27 songs. 27 song tracks. <sighs> Bro. But some of them were like, just like a little ad break from Willie Nelson just to make it country. Yeah. Then to go into like a clearly an R&B song. Yeah, because he, yeah, he just did like a like an impromptu reading or something. Mm. He'd be like, hey, there's Will and Nelson. Sometimes I smoke in the morning and in the evening I eat chicken. <laughs> Pretty much. And then it'd just be Beyonce. That's the whole thing. Oh, the single cows. Oh, oh the, the single, single cows. cows. <laughs> it's like, Beyonce, that's not a country song. <laughs> a lot of features. So I was like, oh, let's put on all the songs with the features. Mm. Miley's in there. Yeah. Miley's got a great country voice. When she came on a track, I was like, mm. okay. Mm. Then back to another Some... 14 songs of just something else. Yeah, Miley, she's just still sings with such desperation, and I like it. Like a lot of, a lot of She's angst, seen some a lot things. of grit. She has. Yeah. She, she was on Nickelodeon. She's been around. She yeah. was on Nickelodeon. <laughs> yeah. The poor thing. Wow. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Fortunately, she had a dad there as security. Oh, yeah. You don't mess with him. <sighs> Looks like Keith Urban with a goatee. <laughs> 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 uh, but yeah, it was one of those albums where I was like, fuck, man. Maybe it was for the best that Jay-Z cheated on her. Because her next album was a lot better than that piece of shit. <laughs> Which one did she do after the Jay Z cheating? Pink on her? lemonade or lemonade whatever. Lemonade one. Yeah. The lemonade was it called? Pink lemonade. Lemonade. Something lemonade. I think it's just lemonade. Yeah. Yeah. So you reckon he needs to cheat on her again? Mm, yeah, maybe. I think it's not the worst. I idea. mean, I mean. So when did you listen? Did you specifically be like? I saw a post popping up of people talking about it, and we were driving to somewhere maybe Newtown or something. And I was like, it was a bit of a drive. And mm. I was like, let's just listen to it. I'm going to focus on this. And me and Tonya were both like, this is not good. None of these songs are very good. Like the single's fine. The yeah. rest. Yeah, I'm going to wait and see what comes into her top five. And then I'll give those ones a spin mm. to see what everyone's listening to. Maybe yeah, it'd be interesting few. to see what people like because I couldn't figure it out. <sighs> Yeah. Is she doing? I want to see some country ass film clips of her, like on dirt bikes and stuff. Yeah, that'd be cool. Roping cattle. 
Yeah. I don't want some fucking green screen shit from Malibu where she's mm. living. I want you getting country, like real country. Because, like, I like the idea of the genre mix. Like, Lil Nas X killed it, right? Mm. Like, that was, mm. I was kind of hoping for that kind of like, it's like a nod to country, but it's its own thing. But it also kind of could be a country song, you know? Mm. But her star, I don't know, man. <sighs> it's, you could, do you blame her or the producers? Just Bro. cut a fucking track too. You had 27. If you cut it down to 12, everyone would be like, oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah, they were kind all of, pretty good. At a certain point, it felt like her just pushing things into this album. Like, Bro, just they weren't even meant to be on there. The, they were just like, let's just say it's country. The audiobook of Harry Potter is quicker than fucking Beyonce's country <laughs> yeah. album. And it's more country. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because just J.K. Rowling saying, I hate trains. <laughs> <laughs> that's more country. <laughs> that's country. I don't like. I, li- I listened to a Kid Rock uh, podcast today, actually. Yeah. Speaking of country. Oh, man, I still don't give a fuck. I just say what I say and I don't give a fuck. Middle fingers to the sky. He's the man. I think he's, he's so funny. just another Keith he's Urban. So good, bro. He's another Keith Urban. He's rich. You know, he was rich growing up. I believe it. Like so, redneck rich or just generally just rich? He's like, mummy. Well, well I, don't know, I don't know about Posh Rich, but his parents owned one of the biggest car dealerships in Detroit. Mm. Like, rich. Yeah, right. Like, he, he said upper middle class on the podcast, which I think, if you're already saying that. Oh, yeah. Mm. Wow. And Detroit's, like, where the manufacturing of cars in America is, like, When he was the growing up. So I was thinking he should do a pop album. Yeah, that's funny. I love... John I'm down switching. for it. I think... Um, I don't want to go back to the Nickelodeon thing. <laughs> yes <laughs> But we did talk about that We haven't talked about it on the podcast yet Hectic what's coming out with Drake and Josh Oh dude Mainly and Drake right? Drake Do you know like There's this joke I can't remember Was this Italian American comedian Used to do about how um, The priests touch the altar boys mm. And then the joke is that How he never got touched Because he wasn't good looking enough Yeah Legit what happened in Nickelodeon because Josh comes out going, oh, no, nah, nothing happened to me. They were all great to me because he was like a fat, a fat ki- kid. Fat kid. He, go- he glowed up later. And he glowed up late, whereas Drake was a hot one. Yeah. And then the who's the main dude who did all the, the damage? Fuck. Can't think of his name. He was like the fucking script bro, coordinator. Bro, that cunt needs to be in oh, fucking dude. the ground, Creepiest bro. looking cunt. And nothing's been happened yet. It's like... um. That I can't remember who did the joke, but it was about like Michael Jackson never had no like ugly boys. They're all cute little boys. <laughs> like you say, he's not a pedophile. Why were they all cute little hot boys? Why were they all hot boys? <laughs> Good for inspiration. Never, yeah. That's why I never dropped a bad album, bro. <laughs> You're saying that's what's wrong with Beyonce's album? <laughs> yeah, Jay Z's ugly now, bro. She needs some hotties around her again. Oh, dude, Jay Z. Do you reckon he was giving her feedback? He's like, I don't know. Twenty seven seems like a lot of tracks. Or he was like, dude, I'm just in the dog. You know what, B? Fuck, how do you do his voice? He's a country it's so guy. iconic. Mm. Ha-ha. No, ha-ha. he's got like a weird ha-ha. laugh, doesn't ha-ha. he? You know what, B? <laughs> what are you doing with your face? <laughs> I'm, trying to, I'm trying to change my angle of delivered okay. noises to yeah, make it. Yeah, okay. Ha-ha. It's a hard knock laugh. He doesn't even do that bit. What am I doing? Uh, I like it. Um, you know what, B? Fuck, I'm not going to be able to do it. <laughs> Apparently he's uh, a fed. What do you mean? What's that mean? A so, cop? Well, uh, all the TikTok drama, all the rabbit holes I've been going down because of this album and other certain things we might get to later in the podcast. He's an informant for the f- feds, for the FBI. They got some dirt on him early in his career and now he's like an informant or like he just can't do How much bad. fucking dirt's like a rich man getting? I but, feel like he's not on the streets. Slinging. Yeah, but then you just give all tax. your dirt. How can he be like an ongoing snitch? He's just talking about how shit Beyonce's album's going to be. <laughs> His head's up. <laughs> well, I don't know because maybe he got like blackmailed, like did some bad, other bad stuff. Mm. That's just that's just what the dark web's telling me. Okay? Yeah, right. The, the wormholes. You going down them wormholes? Oh, I'm going down, baby. Oh shit! I've got another friend. He's not. He's very. He's not conspiracy. He's just very right wing, and he's telling me about the election, how much Trump's going to win by, and I think he's right. Yeah, he's probably right. Yeah, but he's a pro Trump. I remember him going. Oh, on his he rant. loves him. Yeah, he loves him. <laughs> Funny, but yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. What did Beyonce's album get as a rating? Do they do? Do they have Rotten Tomatoes for albums? They fucking should. If you're going to pan Beyonce's my boy, country album, Adam what do Sandler, I his whole career, you might as well pan some rating. fucking music too. 
review. I should have put yeah, review. review. That makes do, more so. sense. Okay, let's say there's people fucking. This ain't Texas. I'm a hold 'em. Lay your cards down, 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 down. Okay, these are the top three articles that come up. Beyonce's country is America. Every bit of it. That's the New York Times take. Rolling oh. Stone. On Cowboy Carter, Beyonce isn't going country. She's reinventing American music in her own image. That's oh a big goodness. fucking they call. Sucking on Beyonce's sucking up. Clit, then the they? next Holy one, shit. the Washington Post. Beyonce's Cowboy Carter isn't a country album. It's worse. <laughs> <laughs> I like that one. Uh, yes, finally. Washington Post, yeah, Bro, buddy. Oh, we can see he's got a real journalist still. <laughs> okay, then one of the top questions is, is Cowboy Carter a good album? The follow-up to Renaissance is a powerful and ambitious country album cast in the singular mold of Beyonce. She asserts her rightful place in the genre as only a pop star of her incredible talent and influence can do. Everyone's really getting on the teat of this aren't they well you know what it's good comedians need to argue the other side we we mm. tell, tell it how it is mm. when the woke media being bought and paid for by oh, scrooge yeah. mcduck yeah. and biden <laughs> no but scrooge it, music is is subjective oh, there's a lot of listeners who probably loved all 27 songs oh yeah should have been 57 that's all they're saying mm, more mm. more willie nelson just talking i reckon i did a country a cover of jolene yeah, that was random. Bad, I didn't love it. Bad it shit. Cover. It's a great song. Yeah. I feel like rewriting Dolly Partners Beyonce shouldn't be allowed. We talked about it the last podcast. Pitbull did a cover of Nine to Five. Mm. And it's better than Jolene's cover. I think it's respectful because he got Dolly on it. Mm. Whereas Beyonce. Did he did she not get him on it? I don't think so. She might have talked and did like a Willie Nelson little Bible verse or something. <laughs> What is what Australians would you like to see drop a country album? Oh, what Australian musicians are there? Forget don't every... have to be musicians. Oh, okay. Because what if okay? Because <laughs> the internet goes in cycles. It went from YouTubers. They were all what well, they were doing doing diss tracks. Mm. I'm saying, and the influence all doing diss tracks. Then it went yep. to boxing. Now it's going to OnlyFans. Yep. What if the next wave is country albums? Yep, love it. So that could happen. I'll tell you what was a nice surprise I wasn't expecting when it happened, when Chappelle Corby dropped a song. Remember that? No. You don't remember that? Get it the fuck <laughs> up. Are you plugged in? Yeah. Play it. Let's, Let's we need f- it. Let me find I it. I legitimately do not remember it. You don't remember this? When? A few years back? When she got out of prison. Oh, yeah. What was it? Can't remember. She could have done it. It's about flowers or fucking sunsets or something. I'm going to find it. Oh. But she's great. I'll tell you who I would like if we're on this track. Um, Clive Palmer. <laughs> yeah, fatty. And who's that other guy who fucking snaps? Bob. Bob Catter. Bob Catter, He'll just a fucking, a just one. a mumble rap mm. album. Just like, and the alligators are coming <laughs> to kill our kids. Just like weird shit like that. <laughs> <laughs> he would be good on a remix. Yeah, Mashed and Kutcher back when they were killing it. Yeah. Oh, true. They would. Remix Has anyone remixed that? Bob. They probably did. To be honest. Yeah. True. Okay, Chappelle, Chappelle Corby's Corby. song, Palm Trees. No way. Mm-hmm. I knew it was fucking sunset. I wonder if she something. wrote it in prison. Mm, you ready? I'm not sure if I'm ready. Okay, let's go. Let's see. Okay, I think I've muted. Let me unmute. There's something so fantastic about... Sorry. You're right. Unmute. I'm in Queensland <laughs> and it's... Sorry. It's loading. I love the start of it. All right, let me pause it for a second. Yeah, pause it for a bit. I'm going to say there's something just so engaging about (laughs) middle-aged white women going to prison. Like Martha Stewart. That was a vibe. Five. Chappelle Corby. Not for them. It's not great. Yeah. Uh, Cassie, whether out the Australian. She was a middle-aged, but. Oh, we were young white women going to prison. You can do that. Mm. She was smuggling cocaine in the headphones. Yep. That's just, the nation got around it. Yeah. Not her, just around the story to rip on The story, on we like it. We like it. We like people getting arrested. Well, it's just... In foreign th- countries. <laughs> it's, yeah, the foreign countries, because mm. we learn about culture. Yeah. We- it's actually like a nice culture exchange. They should do it like sister schools. Maybe we should swap prisoners once in a while. That's fun. Prison swap. That's good. Good reality show as well. Yeah. Like if there was the language barrier, we bring a bunch of Taiwanese prisoners here, send a bunch of Australians over there. Guards yeah. stay the same. Like a reality show. Hmm. I don't know. Not even filming. Maybe live streamed TikTok or something. <laughs> They're pushing a lot of that. 
Tune in if you want. They anyway. should do prison talent shows. They probably do. You reckon? And like, not like Hunger Games where they kill each other, but like just a normal talent, normal show. talent show. We vote in, and like winners get extra servings of things. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, some extra comp- gives them something to do, and then they've got a skill they can take back into the world. True, poetry. <laughs> All right, here we go, Chappelle. I'm in Queensland, and it is sunny. I have the palm trees. Wow. Guys at home, stop dancing. <laughs> Yo, is this Fred again's latest set? Yeah, she is back here to say she's in the sunshine state. On Chappelle is her name. It's a feature. She's There's a feature. Is it say, Ricky Lee? Yeah, it's it's Nat Z. Nat Z. Shout out Nancy. I thought she was just speaking in third person. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. Just wait, that might let me see if that there's one more. Let me just see if that was a mix or if it's different. That is incredible. <laughs> How I can one production be so... Nope. Exactly the same. And it's sunny. <laughs> there's palm, was it there's palm trees? Hmm. I feel funny. I guess, yeah. Oh, did Smoking I, palm trees, daddy's money. Who wrote that? Chappelle. Wow. Dave Chappelle. No. Dave Chappelle. <laughs> That's rogue, man. I like it. I'm in Queensland. And that would be such a dope Triple J like a version. That's so funny. <laughs> like a real good version. Real artist. good version of it, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah like um, uh, Chet Faker or someone. <laughs> is he still around? <laughs> I don't know if he is. Oh, he keeps changing his name. Nick, <laughs> Nick Lockley, or the fuck he's called now. Yeah. Uh, That'd be sick. <laughs> fucking Tame Impala. Shannon Null. Yeah. I'm in Queensland <laughs> and it's sunny. I uh, see palm trees, trees of the money. Fuck, that was a hit. Yeah, dope. <laughs> Fuck, so funny. Okay. Forgot I, about that. I always enjoy picturing when we talk about real Australian things. Mm. I enjoy picturing our, our many, many international listeners. Shout out our international listeners. Oh, yeah. When they have to Google it. Yeah. And they're like, oh, one Chappelle Corby reference. I don't, I'll just let it go. And then they're like, Fuck, uh, I gotta still have on to it. figure out what's going on. And it's not easy to figure out how to spell that name. <laughs> and then what do they even type in? Chevelle Corby Prison, I guess. Yep. There's a lot of articles. Yeah, you do that on the wrong website. Oh. <laughs> oh, you'll see in something. Did, was there ever Chappelle Corby porn? Definitely. That's pretty good. Oh, yeah. On the boogie board? Oh, yeah. <laughs> on the boogie yeah. board? Yeah. Boogie style? Yeah. Oh. What's like the, all barley furniture around, like a real vibe on the beach. Oh, the prison In Queensland cool. where it's sunny. Are you kidding me? <laughs> there's porn for everything. That's the rule on life. If you think of it, there's porn for it. That's true. I'll tell you what I found weird about that album as well. Not Chappelle's, Beyonce's, I'm back on that. Mm. Blackbird by the Beatles. Cover oh, of that. yeah. Not a country song though. Strange. And they didn't make it country, they just did a cover. <laughs> they just did a cover of Blackbird by the Beatles. And you might be like, oh, not every song has to be country on a country album, but isn't like the album called Country Carter or something like mm-hmm. that? So I think yeah. in the name it says it, it mm. should be similar. And like I was, I thought it'd be better because she's from Texas. I was like, oh, that makes sense. She's got like a bit of a twang, you know, mm. a southern twang. Mm. Mm. Never heard a song. I don't know. It's not music for us though, is it, mate? It could have been. You ever get surprised by an album? You're like, this might be for me. Olivia. Yeah. <laughs> Olivia Rodrigo. I can uh, see you a... going solo to one of her concerts. Dude. And everyone's like, who's this creep? And you're like, no, I'm a big fan. Wait, I'll know more lyrics than you, bitch. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> wow. Uh, there's some good news um, in the music world as well. Tell me. Lizzo quit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, no. Yeah. Stra- strange time to quit. Mm. Because, okay, she dropped a few bangers. Truth hurts, baby. Truth hurts. It's a banger. Uh, she went and destroyed 
chairs at uh, Splendor. <laughs> no, she did great sets at Splendor. She's done great sets all over the world. Then it comes out that she's bullying all her closest friends and everyone around her. Mm-hmm. Um, and just like biting chunks out of their arms when she gets hungry. <laughs> Picking through their hair for little nourishment. Yeah. Just a bunch of stuff. Uh, and doesn't quit then. Yeah. She waits until everyone's kind of forgotten about her. Yeah. Now she's like, oh, pay attention to me. Yo, you know the songs I haven't dropped in a year? Not going to drop anymore either. Very strange. And like, to be a music artist, mm-hmm. people have gotten away with a lot of shit. It's not even about the cancellation. I think she just wants more attention. Yeah. Because Art Kelly was out there (laughs) pissing on children. And he still had, like, I believe you can fly and shit after. That was during the court case, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. I'm pretty sure he dropped his best album during the court case for pissing on a 15-year-old. Being a bit mean. Yeah. Being a diva. That's that's fucking pop music, baby. Who knows what's going on? She might have made the mistake of reading DMs. Oh yeah! Don't, don't read DMs. Don't read, don't DM. read DMs. Even if you're not famous, just give them a miss. Mm, just don't, don't read, read your DMs. DMs, especially your message requests. Oh, that's where all the freaks hang out. Yeah, that's how they get ya. Um, so we do we know exactly why she quit? No. What if it's something random, like she just wants to like walk from uh, Brazil to Argentina? I'm gonna go out on a limb and say she's not doing that. <laughs> I'll become a a fucking vase maker. Maybe like a hot dog eating hobbit. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm saying she's like, oh, now I want to fulfill my passion of um, F1 driving or becoming a school teacher. Maybe it's like she's got caught up in other things. Mm, maybe. I've, I've already r- ruined the billboard charts. I'll tell you what would have been a great pivot for her. If I'm her manager. Tell me. You're mean. Can you pitch you it to re- me? Yeah. Hey, Lizzo here. What's up, manager? Hey, Lizzo. Don't hit me. First of all. <laughs> This whole mean thing that's been buzzing around. Some managers might find it distasteful. You would fucking say that, you big-headed fuck. I fucking hate you. Get me a hot dog. That's the nicest thing you've ever said to me, Lizzo. Anyway, um, I was thinking, where yeah. do we need people in the music business who are absolute assholes? Um, I don't know. Tell me. You're going to be the mean judge on American Idol. Thoughts? Can I hit them? There is catering. Okay, I'm in. (laughs) (laughs) I see you wanted to be the mean judge. I reckon that would have been great. If you're getting shit for being a... You can... They can get like multiple millions for just doing that and then just re-release some shit. It's it's very hard for people to turn heel. Mm. By which I mean embrace the character of the villain. And oh, no, he's back in his wrestling terminology. Well, that's, it's just a common term. I'm explaining <laughs> for our internationals so they didn't have to look it up. They're still stuck in the Balinese prisons. Um, but it is hard for people to turn who, who were once beloved, which you should do because you make way more money. Like once Jake Paul just embraced it, make mm. way more money, Floyd Mayweather. And even the judge, Simon Cowell, makes more money than the other nice ones because everyone he's got the zingers. Yep. Your your voice sounds like it was ran over by a truck, you ugly, pale-faced cretin. <laughs> yeah, that's good. They're like, cool. Oh, Even Gordon Ramsay made a whole fucking career out of that shit. Lizzo can just go review fucking school choirs or something for a TV show. That's what I'm saying. I don't... <laughs> you have to be ready to become the heel. Mm. You can't be forced into being, yeah. being the heel. Uh, so okay, Lizzo could see. be back. Let me see what it says. I'm getting tired of being put dragged by everyone. No one could drag you, Lizzo. No and one. on the <laughs> That's true. She really set us up for that. Yeah, well. All I want is to make music and make people happy and help the world be a little better than how I found it. You can do it, Lizzo. That's no one's stopping you making music. Mm. You've still got a label. They don't even think they've dropped you. You say, Hey, I want to make some music. Yeah. They save our producer some beats. You go make music. You can still do it. No one's coming protesting your sessions. You can go on SoundCloud. There's that. Oh, yeah. Ah. Go on Sound. Do a long Instagram story. Sing on it. Yeah. Willie Nelson will probably do some talking <laughs> around it. Fucking put that out. Do a country album. Liz, I would do a banging country mm. album. She's got a good voice. What were her songs? Truth Hurts is the one I know. How's that? And she's got the boys one. Mm. Um, 
Why men great till they gotta be uh, yep, great? Yep. I just took a DNA test, turns out I'm a hundred percent that bitch. Even when I'm feeling fat, I oh. just eat some donuts okay. and swim in the okay. pool. Yeah. I sank like a stone, now I'm dead. Wow. That's pretty good. It's too many fat jokes. <laughs> Shout out Lizzo, she's a big yeah. listener. Oh, she's big, all right. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Uh, pop star, more like pop tart. Uh, no, it's no, too, much. too it's many. Too much. Now we need to do okay. skinny jokes okay. to even it out. Okay, about Lizzo? No, about someone skinny. Someone. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Taylor Swift. Yeah, let's go. she thin, bro. Oh, dude, she thin, dude. She thin. Mm. She better not step on a grate because she'll fall through. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, She's. So thin she could fucking floss that gap in her teeth. <laughs> Boom. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's enough. Uh, it was, it just, yeah, it was, it was just, just good to give the semblance of... um. Yeah, just a bit of fucking... Semblance what's it called? of... So with the Diddy stuff, real quick. Yeah. Have you heard... So I know... It's, you know how his house got raided? Yes. Yeah, yeah. and his manager... Or he... Fucking flew out of there or some shit. Yeah, he gone. He, yeah. he in non extra. He's in Cuba, plane, baby. He's dude. in Cuba. Yeah. He ain't got St. Julius he's Stone. in Belize or something. Yeah. Well, I think it's so great how every couple of weeks something new will drop. So mm. first it just came out that he was just banging Meek Mill and Usher. And everyone was like, lol. Then it's like, oh, he was doing a bunch of illegal stuff. Did you hear about this, the freaky parties? No. So Diddy would throw these parties. And they were called like Freak Fests or something like that. Holy shit. And to invite all these famous people, all these drugs, all this liquor at his mansion. Mm -hmm. And so this is what has been alleged. This is what I've read about. Someone's told me about it too. At these parties, he would have hidden video cameras and audio recordings in every room. So wow. he would get dirt on everyone in Hollywood. That's why it took so long for this shit to come out because no one could say nothing. If they went to one of these parties, chances are they bang, at least bang someone, cheat on their wife on camera for Diddy. Right. Or they got railed by Diddy because he's a, he's, a, he's a thirsty bear, mm. hungry bear, I should say. Mm. And so that's kind yeah, of right. one of the things the FBI was trying to seize when they raided his place was all these tapes. That's creepy. Allegedly. That's like full cult shit, like the Scientology method of getting you to say mm. all your dirt and then using it. That's why you should never reveal secrets to your partners. Because <laughs> then they yep. then they got you. You got to keep your walls up, mm. even with your most beloved. You can say things to them, but not if there's any way they can prove them. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And if you laugh hard enough after saying a secret... <laughs> You can always go back and say you were joking. Okay, can you show me this? Show you me. want an example? Yes, I do. Um, um, when I was 11, I ran over the family dog and blamed the neighbours. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Okay, I like that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I don't want a job. Yeah, it's got to be shameful secrets, eh? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh when I was 15, I left my parents' car in, um, I took the parking brake off and fuck, it, it started rolling and it reversed over my grandmother and uh, it killed her. <laughs> that's, that works. Yeah, I, I think, think that's that good. I, I think, think that's that a good works. method. Guys, I if you're going works. around Diddy's house, just remember, <laughs> laugh after your secrets. Yeah, and, and if you think you've got a tape there, you try to get out in front of them and be like, crazy what they can do with like tapes and like making you think your places that you weren't and stuff, whatever. And then you can even go create an alibi. Like, remember when I went on that um, to Australia in, was it 2009? I think the whole month of July I was there. You don't remember? Mm. Oh, I definitely, I definitely was there. Mm -hmm. Just random. If something comes out from that date, can't be right because I was in Australia. That's good. Yeah, That's good. yeah, it's good. You got to know these things, <laughs> guys. This week we're trialing out two shorter episodes. See if you like it. Just double yeah, release. You probably noticed, like, oh, this isn't as long as the other one. We're doing Dublin. It's double. The Irish special. <laughs> <laughs> Dublin. Okay, got it. Um, so one will come out Wednesday. Yeah, which is. Now, yep. when you're listening to this, and when will the next one? Friday, we'll do I another reckon. one. I like yeah. that's a yeah. good way to get into the break weekend. up the week a little bit. Yeah, why not? 
Yeah. Why not? And to end, we do have a um, one of the Beyonce tracks because we've been talking a lot about it. Um, and we just want to make sure you get a taste. We don't want you to jump off this podcast and listen to that shit, no. but we want you to hear it here first. Uh, this is the one that I was talking about where it seems like she's trying to convince us that she's heard a country song that she's been on a farm. She's like, really seems like she's just fishing mm. for a country song. Yeah. I don't, I don't know if she didn't have good writers for this one. Yeah. Um, yeah. Let me know what you think anyway. Here it is. About to start any second. It's it's my computer. My computer's a bit slow. Oh yeah, what is it? No, it's oh, yeah. it's a hard track to get a hold of. Mm. I think it was a secret. Oh. Queen B Queen B Queen B Leave our jeans. Cowboy hat. Yeah. Out on the farm again. Definitely a farm. I'm on the farm, hoeing mud, fixing walls, wearing jeans. Got a scarecrow in my bed. What's up, J? What's up, dog? That's J on the farm. We're farming. Welcome to my farm. We're growing corn, probably. Corn farmers, is that a thing? I'm a cowboy riding a donkey down the street, going to get donkey meat. Going to dance with his feet, line dancing, I do lines of coke. That's the good stuff, I'm a little razzed up now, better for farming. Got the energy to get up two in the morning before the birds, early bird gets the scorpion. Scorpion farm, sting like a butterfly, put it in my eyes, got the coke again, put it up my nose. Ooh, it's a good stuff. Cutting lines of crop, cutting lines of coke. Crop circles do the dance, you know the crop circle dance. Move them hips in a circular motion, it's Beyonce. All the single ladies getting fucked by farmers in the dirt. Getting fucked till it hurt. Getting fucked, squirt, 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 grow those crops. It's wet season. Wet seasons, wet seasons. Pray for rain, rain out my pores. Pray for rain, rain out my pores. Pray for rain, rain out my pores. Harvest me, harvest me, harvest me, harvest me like the wheat. I'm in Queensland <laughs> and it's sunny. I'm in Queensland. <laughs> I feel funny. There's coke in Queensland. Put it up my nose. There's coke in Queensland. Put it up my nose. Hi guys, it's Willie Nelson. Ah, Thank Willie. you for listening to this ah, song. You're welcome, Willie. It's definitely a country song. What about me? Shannon it Nelson. isn't fair. I've had enough. I want my shit. Can't you see? Oh. So there you go. That was uh, Beyonce. You did song. one of the hardest bars ever in there, bro. <laughs> I started really getting into it. Nick got off the fucking seat and just started fucking <laughs> bouncing, bro. Bro, that wasn't me. That was Beyonce. I mean Beyonce. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. New episode out on Friday. Thanks for listening. Hope. Let us know what you think of this shorter episode. More energy, tighter, maybe. Like just, Beyonce. Just leave us comments. Yeah, just fucking make us feel love loved. us.